assalamu alaikum students welcome back to the fourth part of the tutorial on spreadsheet software students in the previous video you have explored autosum textual and date and time features in this video you will learn about math and trigonometry feature if function graphics chart creation and advantages and disadvantages of spreadsheet software square root function the sqrt function calculates the square root of a number its syntax is equal sqrt parenthesis start number and parenthesis close this example returns the result 6 which is the square root of 36 students you can apply sqrt function by pressing equal sign sqrt parenthesis desired number parenthesis close and by pressing enter key you will get result students you can also avail this option from formula tab and by clicking on math and trigonometry you can choose the option of sqrt function when you enter your desired number into this window you will get result students you can also use this function by giving it cell reference like this equal sqrt parenthesis its cell address and parenthesis close and by pressing enter you will get its result mod function this function is derived from the word modulus mod function returns the remainder after number is divided by a divisor the result has the same sign as divisor its syntax is equal mod parenthesis start number comma divisor and parenthesis close This example returns the remainder one. To apply mod function, first set the cursor and then type equal mod your required number divisor by closing the bracket and pressing enter key. You will get result. Students, you can also avail this feature from math and trigonometric section. by choosing the option of mod this windows appears you can write here your required number its divisor and by clicking on okay you will get result students you can also perform this function by giving its address like this first write the numbers and then equal sign mod bracket address of first number comma then get the address of second number bracket close and by pressing enter key you will get its mod sign this function returns the sign of a number indicating whether it is positive negative or zero this function returns 1 if the number is positive 0 if the number is 0 and minus 1 if the number is negative its syntax is equal sign parenthesis start number and parenthesis close the first example return as the number 1 because 10 is a positive number the second example returns 0 due to 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 and the third example returns minus 1 because this is a negative number to apply sign function first set the cursor and then equal sign and your required number it will give you one the result because 23 is a positive number similarly you can avail this option from math and trigonometric section and by choosing the option of sign this windows appear when you write it will give you 
minus 1 because it is a negative number. If function, this is a very important function. It is used to test if a certain condition in a worksheet is true or false. Syntax is equal sign if parenthesis logical test value if true value if false and parenthesis close. Logical test is the condition you want to test. The value if true is the value to return if the condition is true and the value if false is the value to return if the condition is false. For example, if the value in cell A1 is greater than 70, then the formula returns the pass. Otherwise, this formula returns fail. Students, I want to calculate the status of the subject based on the marks of the term test. For this purpose, I have find the average marks by using the formula of average you can see in the formula bar. Now I want to find the status of the subjects using if function. For this purpose, I am typing equal if parenthesis and I am getting the cell reference of the first subject. Then I am typing here the condition if it is greater than 50 then comma its status is declared as pass. Otherwise, it is fail in the subject if the condition is false. By closing parenthesis and pressing enter key, you will get the status. And by dragging, you will get the status of each subject. The graphics can be added into worksheet to visualize the data. Students, you can add graphics to your worksheet by clicking on the insert tab and choosing any option from this section according to the need of your worksheet. Like if I want any shape, I will click on the shape section. And by choosing the option, by clicking and dragging, the shape appears on your worksheet. You can increase or decrease its width like this and you can also change the color of the shape and outline of the shape by choosing this option. Students, you can also add any picture from the computer like this. And you can also add any icon, 3D model, smart art, screenshot. By clicking on the icons, I can select any icon from here. And by clicking on the insert, the shape appears. You can increase its width by dragging. You can also change its color from here. Outline color from here. Chart creation. You can create a chart, move and desize the chart, change the type of chart and can delete a chart. Students, you can create a chart into your worksheet by first selecting the data and then go to the insert tab. Here, from chart section, you can select any chart according to your need. Like I am selecting this. Students, you can resize this chart by dragging like this. You can also move it from one location to another. And if you don't like this chart type, you can change it from the same procedure. Students, you can also delete this chart from pressing delete key from the keyboard. Advantages of spreadsheet. 
it is a fantastic tool for financial documents because it has a user friendly environment the data can be easily manipulated using formulas and functions you can analyze data and recalculate it it is highly customizable if you know how to use it you can create any type of document with it there are countless spreadsheet templates available offline and online it displays numeric data as a chart or graphs so you can visualize your data disadvantages of spreadsheet spreadsheets are not secure anyone can easily access and see your data it cannot process large volume of data quickly it does not provide much programming facilities spreadsheets are prone to errors which means that mistakes can happen easily during data entry and formula calculation